What's up guys, this is Tyler with Board Insiders getting ready to do the flex test on the Arbor Clovis. This is a 159 centimeter board. It's got a super mellow camber, which is uh, pretty different than a lot of Arbor boards. One thing hasn't changed, they still have the grip tech. So this has been the year of the short, fat, and pointy. This is not one of those boards. This is the long, skinny, and pointy. And it does something very different in my opinion than uh, the short, fat, and pointy boards. This one, I feel like is going, made for going straight and fast. Some people have different opinions, but let's see how it flexes. Board Insiders, real riders, real reviews. All right, when I start my flex test, I usually just kind of rock back and forth and let the board flex where it wants to with my own weight. So on the nose, it wants to go to about right there before it fights back down. On the tail, it feels about the same. When I really start flexing it, I can feel that it wants to bend right here in like a nice flex zone. Same thing in the front, but it's a little stiffer. So the back feels slightly softer than the front. The front definitely, every time I get out on it, it wants to bring me back down to the ground. Torsional flex is pretty comfortable. I would say middle of the road or just above like a five and a half or six out of 10. All right, max flex on the Arbor Clovis is right about there. I could probably go a little higher, but I'm gonna tip over the tail. It's nice having that long of a tail. Max flex on the nose is about there, but it wants to go back to the ground. It's nice having that long of a tail because you can really get out on it. So boom, Clovis. For the latest snowboard reviews, check out BoardInsiders.com.